Good evening and welcome back to my channel. My name is Shelly and I'm so happy to have you guys here today. So my previous video, I showed you guys the Boxer Delight Sampler. Well, this is part two of my Verda's Creepy Treasure December pre-order. As you can tell, I went a little bit insane, which is why I decided to cut the videos in half. Anyway, she is going through her RTS right now and most of these scents are still on there so you guys should definitely check that out i'll post the link below all right let's get to it i did color code this as you notice i mean just like we got the purples reds blue orange more blue greenish yellow pink and green so i'm gonna start with the yellow i got boogie boogie man this one is a lavender waffle cone vanilla bean marshmallow all right, just pull that one out. This one smells really good. That lavender is so strong. Yeah, that is nice. It's very, like, herbally to me. And then after the lavender, you get that vanilla bean and marshmallow. This one's actually really pretty. I definitely would buy this again, just not anytime soon. The next yellow I have, it's more like a key lime yellow, but it's called the Betrayal. This is caramel kettle corn, strawberry pound cake, and cotton candy frosting. This one I think is going to be very sweet with the cotton candy frosting. Kettle corn is like a sweet caramelized corn. And yeah, it is sweet, but it's not like too too sweet i think it's because the strawberry pound cake kind of like knocked it down a bit but this is really pretty i'm excited to try this one on warm all right next we have my pick for my cereal saturdays this one is come play with us play with us this one was actually recommended by someone i forgot her name but this one's captain crunch berries blackberry jam and sugar cookie I love, love, love blackberry scents, so I'm looking forward to this one. And yeah, this one is really good. You do get that blackberry, and the Captain Crunch isn't, like, too hard on the cereal scent, but it's nice. It's a nice change from the Fruit Loops, which, by the way, I do have in here. Alright, then we have our pink. This one is Twisted Wonderland. If you guys saw on my previous collections video, I like this one. The lemon curd actually amplifies that blackberry, and it's all finished off with that tea and cakes. It's absolutely fabulous. It's on my customs list. I did not buy more of it during her first round of customs, but that's okay. I will definitely pick more up. Oh, that is such a beautiful scent. It is a little bit perfumey like blackberry, but it is amazing. I know tea and cakes has like a mild perfume, you know, but you don't really get overwhelmed by it. It's just a beautiful blended concoction. Amazing. Have to have more of that. All right, next one is Death Peach. This one is Salty Sierra, Coconut Cream Pie, Strawberry, and Pineapple. Yeah, you really get that pineapple right off the bat. Followed by that salty sear. This is absolutely brilliant. I wonder what the middle layers are. Oh, okay. This one is a blue and a green. I like this one's very summery. I do think that it would be one of those scents that gets overwhelming pretty quickly because of the sweetness of the pineapple. But I'm looking forward to melting this one over the summer. All right, my next green is called Casper. This one's really good. The apple cider donut note is so strong. I'm actually glad I got more of this. I did not know I ordered it in the pre-order. I think it was just a last minute decision. But yeah, the pumpkin just is really good. The pumpkin pecan waffles with that apple cider donut. Amazing. That one is definitely low for the for sure. But it could be a little bit heavy bakery for me. So the souffle, actually a bakery bag. She ever did bakery bags. That would be the perfect size. The eight ounces. 
Yeah. So the next one I'm going to go to are the orange. This one is She'll Die First, Butterman's Pink Sugar Mrs. Claus Cookies. Now this was another one I did in my collection video. And the buttermint and pink sugar were the shining notes in this one. I didn't really get that cookie note from Mrs. Claus Cookie. And yeah, it's the same right here. It's just a buttermint and pink sugar note to me. It's a beautiful blend, don't get me wrong. I just wish it had a little bit more of a cookie note. Alright, let's keep going with the orange. The next one is a very, very popular scent. scent. Everybody recommended it. It's called The Exorcist. It's Palo Santo, Patchouli, Vanilla Bean, and Marshmallows. Let's see. And yeah. You do get that instant note, but it's so mild. But yeah, those two together, the Patashoo and Palo Santo, go really well together. This one's another one of those fantastic things. I'm looking forward to melting this one a lot. Alright, the last of the orange was Ski Weekend. I actually thought I did not order this, so I was really happy to see it. And this one is Flannel Sheets, Icy Peppermint, and Sweater Weather. Sweater Weather, oh my goodness, that one's so pretty. It's such a pretty scent. Oh yeah, right off the bat, I <laughs> just opened it, Flannel Sheets. But yeah, this is really pretty. It's definitely flannel heavy. The last note I get is that sweater weather. And then you get that, like, super minty, clean, icy peppermint. Ugh. This one's like an obsession in the making. I could smell this one all day. And that is Ski Weekend. All right. Um, next up, we got a light blue, kind of almost cupcakes at Tiffany, but more like a C color right now. This one is a Dolls Downy Apple Fresh Cocoa Butter Cashmere Pink Berry Tonka. Yeah, that Pink Berry Tonka is really pretty. I like this one a lot. She had really good blends in this pre-order. But yeah, you get all the notes. The downy apple fresh is not too strong, so if you don't like laundry but you're trying to get into it, this would be a good one. And that cocoa butter cashmere, amazing. This one's definitely going to be a repeat purchase for me. Love it. Okay. Anyway, next we have the blue. The darker blue. It's your turn to scream, a hall. This one is so sweet. Originally, I said it made me like sick, nauseous, headache, but I was a little bit sick at the time, so I think it just amplified that. But this one's really good. I melted it all day yesterday, and I'm gonna be melting it a little bit later today as well. It's summer scoop, honeydew, strawberry, raspberry, guava. That honeydew note is so apparent here. Yeah, it's so strong. Those two, honeydew and strawberry guava, they just go so well together. I would like to see it with like an uh, oceanic blend. Maybe like an ocean breeze or salty sea air. Because I just think that those, you know, like tropical notes go so well with oceanic. I do have saltwater mermaid, so maybe I'll blend those two together. All right. The last blue I have is the Scarecrow Wax. This one is Sweet Bakery Dough, Pie Crust, and Apple Cider Donut. I have not smelled this yet, so I'm excited for this one. Oh yeah, that scent is definitely the Sweet Bakery Dough. I smelled it before but wasn't sure, so I believe that's what I smell. The Apple Cider Donut is not very strong here. But it's really nice. It's like a mild spiced bakery. So it's screaming September vibes for me. All right. Now we have the dark red, the grim grinning ghost. This one's coconut cream pie and banana walnut bread. Sorry, banana walnut cake. 
This one's pretty nice too. You get that coconut cream pie with the banana. It's nice. It's not my favorite coconut cream pie scent though. But I really like this. I'm looking forward to warming this. I'm hoping the banana notes come out, but I think it's going to be more of the coconut smell. Alright, let's put that over there. We're almost done. We have eight more to go. Alright, purple time. Monster breakfast. This was one of my requests. It's Fruit Loop, Strawberry, and Blackberry. Yeah, that Fruit Loops is the main note I get, followed by the Blackberry. It's good. This isn't one of those, like, only Fruit Loopy smells. But yeah, I like this one a lot. That's so nice. Mm. I cannot wait to get into this one either. All right. Let me keep trucking. So yeah, again, that one was my request. She did for three of my requests, actually. And the next one is Hide and Go Shriek. This is another one of my requests. It is pink berry tonka, pink sugar, watermelon, and strawberry. I love watermelon scents. And yeah, you get that pink berry tonka and watermelon. This is so good. It's very like summery to me. You know, when I first started looking at Britta's, I actually contemplated getting this one. And her spider web look. Do you guys remember that? It was like big, like the size of your head. I think it was like $50. But I was like, no, I haven't even tried it. I probably shouldn't. I'm glad I didn't get it, but I would totally get a loaf in that. I think I would get the deadly potion in a spider web though, because that one was so good. And it'd be great as a blender. All right, anyway, off topic a little bit. So the next one is Hotel Transylvania. That is a good movie, by the way. It has Selena Gomez in it. And this one is Summer Scoop and Bum Bum. I love me that Brazilian Bum Bum cream. Yeah. That one's nice. That Summer Scoop scent is definitely the main note, though. It's nice. Not a repurchase, though, because I would like more of that Bum Bum cream. All right, the last purple we have is Insidious. This one's actually going to be in my March melting basket. It's funnel cake, strawberry pound cake, and apple cider donut. Yeah, this one's really good. That funnel cake and apple donut. Apple cider is really good. This one is definitely a repeat purchase for me. All right, all we have left are the reds. So the first red I have is Don't Let the Bed Bugs Bite. This was the third and last of my requests that was poured. Lavender, Pink Sugar, and Pink Berry Tonka. Yeah, this is a very herbally, like hard herbal lavender. So if you don't like that note, then you might want to stay away from it. But this is really good. I like it. Yeah, so herbally lavender with that Pink Berry Tonka. That one's definitely giving me, like, spring vibes. Alright, next one is A Night Before Christmas. Fraser Fur and Flannel Sheets. This one's definitely going to be heavy, like, winter scent. Oh, yeah. And it smells like a car freshener. It's good, though. I don't mind car fresheners. But yeah, that Fraser Fur is really strong here. All right, two more. Homie the Clown, Sour Patch Kids, Blue Raspberry, Cotton Candy Frosting. So I got this one because I totally want to see what the Sour Patch smell was about. Ooh, that one smells really pretty. It's like a blue raspberry scent. Oh, I like that a lot. I would not get a loaf of this, but I would totally buy like two souffles. That is so nice. It is super sweet. But yeah, you get... Oh, there is blue raspberry in here. Yeah, it's blue raspberry strong. It's definitely candy-like. It's 
it's beautiful it's amazing woodwork all year round except for maybe winter but definitely really pretty all right last one is pennywise caramel kettle corn strawberry pound cake and cotton candy frosting you know what i feel like i've said this one already but I've been putting everything over there, so maybe I bought two. And this one's good. Like I said, it's sweet, but not like overpoweringly sweet. I thought that the kettle corn and the cotton candy would make it like overly sweet. But that strawberry pound cake really tones it down. My question is, did I have it? Oh, you know what? I I think I might have had it in a sampler. That might be it. But anyway, we finally got through my long 20 item souffle haul. Thank you guys for joining me. I'm so happy to have you guys here in my community. I know it's small and I'm just starting off, but it means a lot when you guys like comment and you know just watch these videos. Because I don't know, it just it makes me very happy to have you guys here. So Thank you so much and have a good night. Bye.